Hello everyone and welcome back. I got up here from work today and uh, stopped off at the post office to see if anything had showed up there yet and somebody from Pennsylvania sent me a brand new steering wheel for the tractor which is super awesome because see how this plastic slides twice now when I was all mowing because this tractor is very hard to steer. I mean it's got that front loader on there, it's a wide front so it's real tough to steer. And I have come down trying to steer and this plastic has come down and pinched my hand and actually broke the skin so I'm sitting there bleeding. And I, But I thought you know it's not a big deal, winter's coming, I'll have gloves on pretty soon. And I never even thought about you know getting a new one so somebody sent one but I just tried to loosen this and I have my that's an 18 or 20 inch breaker and I have a 36 inch pipe on it and I turn it all the way this way to loosen it and it doesn't snap loose and I know that with that big of a setup I could more than likely bend you know screw something up that's inside the steering so I'm gonna have to wait I don't have a torch up here I have two little torch ends you know that just go on a propane cylinder in the hobby farm workshop and I am going to be there uh, not to, you know, this week I'll be there for a night and I have to remember to grab that to heat that up. I don't have a big impact here either. I have that, um, that's probably in the workshop also. Then I could put the impact and try to pull it but I really think it needs to be heated up because this, you know, this tractor is what, 72 or 74 years old? And I'm sure this is the exact same steering wheel, so this has not been taken off for a very long time. With all the fires burning in California, today was a bright sunny day, but you can look directly at the sun because of the haze that's in the air. Nice day, I mean it's 73 degrees up here, down in the cities when I was working it got up to 84, but uh, that sun just is not getting through. Since the last video I posted, uh, we had another night where things froze. Uh, it wasn't supposed to freeze, uh, the weather said it was only going to get down to 40. I woke up at my usual time, 4 o'clock in the morning, I looked at the uh, weather thing and it said it was like 32.1 and that's at 4 o'clock in the morning so you know it's going to drop another 2 to 3 degrees as the sun tries to come up and it did get down into like the 29 something and I came out here at 4 o'clock and I grabbed the tarp and threw it over the tomatoes is the only thing we care about right now and there was frost on the tarp <laughs> so yeah you can see they got it damaged a little bit on top here but um, they're still doing just fine I mean we're just waiting for these to to ripen and I think later this week, like today is a warm day, tomorrow's going to drop 10 degrees and by the end of the week, because this is just a, I'm, I'm home for a day here and um, for tomorrow and then by the end of the week when I'm back down to work, even down in the cities, the high is only like 58 and the lows up here are going to get down to 34 so that's in town, up here it'll definitely get down into the upper 20s. I didn't even bother covering up the beans so you can see that they got bit on top also because we've canned enough beans. And they're still flowering a little bit so we might get a couple more beans but I'm not going to cover them up anymore. I am, it's, it's middle of September, past the middle of September. I am done with the gardens pretty much. Hunting season starts here, uh, duck hunting starts in just a couple of weeks. And Melissa still wants to can a whole bunch of tomatoes, which I'm glad about because, like I said, for me, um, when hunting starts, I'm done gardening. <laughs> As you saw when I started the video, we got the garage door all fixed now. It's ready for winter. Place the torsion springs. Um, this side had broke, that side hadn't, but there's two new ones on now. One of the cables was bad, it was uh, frayed and rubbing. He showed me where it was rubbing. I don't know how that happens. I'm not a garage door person, but 
That one got, I, you know, I'm guessing that he probably replaced both of them. They both look pretty new. And then he adjusted everything. Um, some of these screws, I remember they were a couple short, and he put those in, got everything greased. Now it opens up real nice, and it, before it used to just screech so much when it opened, and now it's uh, quite a bit quieter. So as far as this garage is concerned, except for me taking the rider out and putting it up in that front garage, we're ready for winter. Now that we've had several, I don't, I don't know if it would be considered a hard freeze. Um, what does it have to be? Below 32 for more than 20 minutes or something? Half hour maybe. I think we've had, yeah, like several hard freezes now. So I want to get the rhubarb picked. Uh, Melissa wants to can a bunch of this because then we can use it in rhubarb crisp or anything we want later. Um, if we freeze it, it fills up the freezer space and the freezers are pretty full right now. And uh, I mean, if the power goes out, if you can can it, might as well can it. So that's what she wants to do. Well, we got all the rhubarb picked out of here. And we picked all of the green stuff. We had two green plants here that uh, came from the Hobby Farmhouse. They surprisingly did really good this year. And we got both of those picked and ready to be canned. Okay everyone, right now it's, I don't know, about 9.30. I'm just in there editing a video. I'm like two and a half videos <laughs> behind right now, so I'll see you guys in the morning. I don't think I have anything else to film tonight. Well, it's the afternoon of the next day. I was editing videos this morning, had a few other things to do, and then I just been out here splitting some wood. But like I've said before, splitting wood gets a little bit boring. And the wind keeps picking up and dying down and picking up, so it's real hard to video in the open like this. I got one uh, trailer load of the alder brought in here. The other day when I fired up the wood stove, I put some of that in there and it burns really hot. I really liked it. So be, as winter approaches here, I'd like to get a few more trailer loads of that and bring it in here just because it makes a nice, fast, hot fire.
while, Melissa got home from work. We fried up some hamburgers and uh, threw some fries in the oven and had hamburgers and french fries for dinner. Uh, now it's almost 7 o'clock. I'm just going to uh, split up just a few of those, just the bigger ones that I collected today because that's still some kind of wet wood. And then I'm going to get everything put away. i got to leave real early tomorrow for work. I am not going to be here tomorrow night. I'm going to stay down at the Hobby Farmhouse and then I'll come back up here the following day. I'll have to come out in a little bit and finish covering it up. I can't tell you how many times I have split wood, threw a tarp over it, and then the tarp melts over the uh, muffler. <laughs> Almost did it this time. I will come out here in another half hour or so because the wind is starting to die down and I need to cover up the tomatoes because it's supposed to get down into the mid-twenties tonight. Well, the wind finally died down here, so I'll get this covered up. It still says it's 52 degrees outside right now, but uh, it's definitely dropping. Oh, I covered up a bunch of it. I even threw them over the beans. And I got the rabbit a snack. Okay, everyone. I'll continue filming in a couple of days here. Right now, I need to get myself to bed. Well, it is Friday night, just about 6 o'clock. I'm making the long drive back up to the farmhouse. Right now, it's 62 degrees. You can see the colors of the trees are changing fast. I just finished editing a, the log splitter video. Melissa's going out to feed the cats and last night if you can see that, where is it? Look underneath the 39.2. It got down to 22.3 here last night. High of 59.9 today and right now it's 39.2. That means I have to cover up the tomatoes again because I bet you, I mean it's only 8.09 right now. It's going to freeze tonight again. All right, everyone, it's a little bit after 10. We'll be going to bed soon. I'm so glad it's Friday. <laughs> I'm tired. It's been a long week. 
Letting the dogs out one last time. I might even sleep in until 5 o'clock tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's 31.1 degrees. I'm glad we covered up that garden. Well, this morning I got the uh, tomatoes uncovered, but as you can see, the other day when it got down to 22 degrees, I even with the tarp on it, it's not going to not going to save them totally. These are getting wiped out. The eggplants have survived every frost quite well. I was really surprised and I, we just haven't covered them anymore. Melissa doesn't much care for eggplant. We've had it several times this year and uh, we were just about done with it and look at it. They have just completely just killed those plants right off. We'll leave these tomatoes on the vine here for because it's going to be warm for a few days this week. It's going to be real nice this come, upcoming week. And then we're going to have to pull them so that they can um, ripen, you know, on the counter or whatever. But Melissa's leaving for Louisiana in a couple of weeks here, so looks like I might be the one ending up canning tomatoes. The beans, like I said, they're done for the year. But I have to say that's one of the most beautiful heads of cauliflower I've seen. Look how white that is. And we're definitely going to have to be making some cabbage soup coming up here pretty soon. Melissa's in there and she's going to be canning a bunch of rhubarb and uh, I think doing jams and stuff today so the stove is all used up. So we're just going to order a pizza for lunch and uh, I have to go pick that up pretty soon. But I want to, this morning I edited some smaller videos, it's nice to start to get caught up on those, I was falling behind. <laughs> but I want to get this trailer unhooked. I think this afternoon I want to go out maybe and uh, do some more cutting on that four-wheeler trail. I got that all cleaned out. Now I got to get in the truck and run because I'm going to be late to get my pizza. I checked some of the trail cameras this morning and uh, the one got a nice buck right on the end of the driveway. That's a really nice deer. <laughs> Lunch is done. Melissa's cutting up the uh, rhubarb here. What are you going to make with it? Uh, preserves. Oh yeah. Should be good. Well, here we are where we last left off. I was actually here, I walked out here a few days ago trying to figure out the best route to go. I was nor um, originally kind of going to go that way because it's higher ground to the left. And at, 
yeah, and as we go to the right, we get closer to the swamp, so it gets wet in the spring. But there's so many nice maple trees this direction that I definitely want to go this way. Somehow in here, I don't mean, you know, just veer toward the right. And then eventually I may do another one that goes off this way. I'm not cutting down any big trees. It's only mainly brush and little stuff, so it's not like I'm hurting anything. I started clearing so I could get to that big maple and that big maple and uh, then I'm passing right by this one and then once you get past here it's a little bit easier clearing and then if we get around this corner all these trees back in here are maples too so they're not real huge maples but you could get a tap in each one of those. But then as I got up to here, I looked down to the right and there's some real big ones back in there. So I cleared all this and once I get this brush pulled out of the way, I'll show you because then we wanna to go to the right and to the left because there's more of them back there. If I can get a, a path like this cleared, if I come back here and there's snow on the ground, I will go back there and tap those trees. If I don't have a trail, I know I'm going to say, nope, I'm not going to do it. You can see right here, this is a maple, that's a maple. If we look straight down in there, that's a big maple. Let's see, those are popple trees over here. Almost all of the trees back there are maples. And beyond these first two here that I showed you, straight back there, that tree, that's a real big one. Definitely want to get a trail to that one also. Well, what I did was I cleared this trail toward that uh, maple tree right there and then instead of making a separate one going to that back tree, I just looped it around. So if a person can get back here with a four-wheeler, you can just drive to each one, loop around, hop right back out over here. I still need to pull all the brush out of the way and then go right back out. I got that loop cleared. Looks like somebody had a deer stand back here at one time. That was just laying right there on the ground. I think since I am so close to the back area here that I call it the swampy area, whatever, I'm gonna clear right through here because this would be a nice easy way to get back there without having to go on the road or this is like halfway between the road and then that trail that we have way over there that goes back.
that's a little bit rough and brushy here in the beginning, but it gets you right out there. I want to drive around this loop right now, make sure it's not too tight, and then we'll move on to the main trail again. I would say I have about another 200 feet to go before I hit the four-wheeler trail that uh, the one that comes out up at the uh, far end of the field up by the farmhouse I don't know the one that this spring I cut in so it's really thick there though so I'm just gonna start through I think I'm almost out of gas at the chainsaw I might have to go up and fill up but uh, maybe I can make it through yet today Well, I ran out of gas with the chainsaw, so I'm going to run up to the house and fill that up with gas and oil, and then I'll be right back. Five o'clock. I know I can make it through. They smell good already. Have a taste. Isn't that... How many jars do you think it'll make? Well, I got it cut through all the way to that other four-wheeler trail. Now it's just moving all of this brush. I mean, that was really thick the whole way through. It's about two minutes to seven o'clock right now, and I completed my task. Everything is through now. I wanted to get this all done today because tomorrow we're busy all day. Zachary and Samantha bought a new house and then they had to wait a couple months to get into it, so they had to live with um, Samantha's mom and dad. And a week ago they closed on the house and then tomorrow we have 
uh, Little Rose's uh, birthday party is there, and then of course seeing the house for the first time. One more thing crossed off the list of things I wanted to get done before winter. So still slaving away doing rhubarb. Okay everyone, it's 10 minutes after 11 and I am going to bed. Good morning everybody. Melissa and I are just about to take off here and go down to Zachary and Samantha's thing today, Rose's birthday. The wind is out of the south. The uh, there's some smoke in the atmosphere. You can tell when you look at the sun, it's kind of uh, hazy again today. Well, we had a real nice time at Rose's birthday party at Zachary and Samantha's new house. It was nice seeing everybody again. I got to hang out with my, well now they're my ex-in-laws who Melissa and I both enjoy talking to and seeing my kids and it was just a fun time. So then we made it back up here and now uh, Melissa's been slaving over that stove all weekend doing canning and I said I will cook dinner tonight. I'm going to cook up a couple of ribeyes and some chicken thighs so we can eat this for a couple of days.
Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Melissa has laundry in right now. The litter boxes are all cleaned. Fridge got cleaned out. That's what happens pretty much every Sunday. Garbage can is down. Stuff got burned in the burning barrel. And tomorrow starts a new work week. I will see you guys on the next video.